Hey, hey guys. All right, as promised, I've got the Tempest and Centipede side by side now, so both of the Atari Legacy cabinets. Um, now that I have them sitting side by side, I might keep both. <laughs> I guess I just love the Tempest cabinet so much. Uh, and I, you know, I did the aftermarket marquee, uh, that's more like the original cabinet. And I freaking love that, the shape of that cabinet with the marquee. I don't know, man, it's going to be hard to let that one go. Um, uh, yeah, I might just keep them both. But anyway, I wanted to do a comparison of them kind of side by side. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, just looking at the control panel heights, total cabinet height, uh, that sort of thing. So again, I'm six foot three. Without risers, the Tempest is a bit short for me. Uh, like control panel height, this is this is not a comfortable height for me. Uh, on my four inch risers, it's great. Uh, it's 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 really nice. Uh, it does cut the top of the monitor off for me with this marquee. Um, I have to kind of duck a little bit or or kind of move back and and kind of hunch a bit, which is comfortable. This is this is fine. I could totally play it like this. And it'd be perfect. Uh, the monitor is actually higher. You'll notice here, uh, the, the, there's a good gap at the bottom of the monitor here where the centipede cabinet is, is very close to the, to the control panel. And there's more up here with some like instructions for centipede and whatnot written at the top. Uh, the centipede, even without risers, is, is very comfortable for me, control panel height. Uh, at 6.3. This, this is a really nice control panel height and I noticed the joust cabinet also has a, a, high, a taller control panel so I think this is something they're doing kind of going forward is, is these these you know higher control panels that's fantastic because it really makes these things feel better for adults. Um, I really love the volcano buttons on this cabinet versus the Tempest. Um, not that Tempest didn't have I don't, Tempest did have them in the arcade, uh, so it would be nice to see those. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember it having them. Uh, I love the three buttons for Missile Command on this cabinet. Uh, it's really hard to play Missile Command on here with the second player button as your middle base button. Uh, I love the online leaderboards of the Centipede cabinet. Uh, there's no online leaderboards, no, up to, no online updating uh, for the Tempest cabinet. It still, to my knowledge, hasn't received a firmware update. I just checked recently. Um, I do not like the coin door sticker versus uh, the moldy coin door. Uh, if I could get a coin door for this one, that would be great. I mean, I may just buy an aftermarket one, flip the panel around to where it's black, and, and put a, a coin door in it. Um, I would love to get the waterfall deck, but the, the price on the new deck is is really high, and I just don't know if I can justify it. But I do like I do really like this cabinet. Uh, monitor wise, I actually think I think I think the Atari Legacy cabinet, the original, this monitor is actually better than the Dell E seventeen fifteen S that I put in the Centipede cabinet. Like looking at them side by side, the blacks on this monitor are fantastic. I'm pretty sure this is a BOE monitor. Um, and the blacks are just really good. And since most of these games have black backgrounds, uh, it, it really does make a difference. I mean, the colors just pop on this cabinet. Uh, they're good on here, but again, it's a little, it's a little blunted because of the, the, the backlight, uh, difference. Uh, taller cabinet, obviously a little bit taller, not much, just a little bit. And the Tempest doesn't look bad at its height anyway, because it just the, the shape of the cabinet um, is really good. If you're not too worried about playing Missile Command, um, if that's not a like a an important game for you, I think the Tempest cabinet is, is fantastic. It, it is a great, great cabinet. So if you can catch a deal on this cabinet and you don't care about the online leaderboards, uh, I think this one's really, really good. Uh, let me see if I can show. Let me grab the camera off the tripod and I'll show you the spinner and trackball differences. Because I think that's pretty important as well. <clears throat> so first off, looking at the trackballs, you see how dark this one is. Maybe they did that on purpose 
just since everything's kind of blacked out uh, on here. I did swap these buttons out. These are all gold leaf buttons. Uh, I love the gold leaf buttons. They're really good. Um, yeah, this one's not as dark. As far as action, they both feel really good. I haven't had any problems with the trackballs. Uh, Spinner-wise, let's see if we can see this. That's a pretty, that's hard. I mean, that's, all right, versus. Much smoother. Now, the problem I'm having on on the centipede one is the sensitivity seems to be higher and it's smoother action. <laughs> so it would be it would be nice if the sensitivity was lower on the centipede cabinet since it has this nice smooth action, you know, so you're more tempted to kind of uh, fling it a little bit. Um, I don't know, in Tempest it felt like it was maybe easier to control on this cabinet, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, I've watched some videos uh, online of some folks playing with the new one, and uh, they seem to be adjusting to it, so I don't think there'll be a problem with that. Let me show, I'll show Tempest on both cabinets as well. Just to show what that looks like. I like the interface on, uh, on the centipede. I think the audio is better on the new cabinet. I'll check. I don't. Let me see how loud I've got this one. Ah, can't see it. It's not coming up. It gets loud, but I don't think. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, there's definitely a better bass on the uh, on the Cinebe cabinet, and I've only got it at like six or seven. Tempest cabinet, the is definitely that monitor's darker. That's that's a BOE. That's the Dell E uh, 1715. So that give you an idea of what they're like side by side. I will say this: the camera is picking up more gray than you see in person. In person, it's pretty darn dark. Um, but on these games, on Joust, this this monitor looks fantastic. Uh, on, on the Joust cabinet, because most of those games are raster games. But on these vector games and, and all these games with, with so much black background, that BOE looks just gorgeous. Yeah, I might have to keep that one. <laughs> Let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah, see, I've got these black dots. Look at that. Yeah, what the hell's that? That's funny because the original monitor did that on my Joust cabinet, and then when I swapped to the uh, to the Dell, they went away. And now I'm getting them on this Dell monitor. That's crazy. There may be something on the Plexi. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Damn, I might have to keep both these cabinets. Frack. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just don't know if I can get rid of the Tempest. Jeez, that one with two cabinets with the same stuff. Oh well, it'll, it'll be one maybe I can get rid of later if I get something that I just have to have and, and make space. Uh, I think I think Golden Tea is about to. I think it's about to get sold. All right, guys. Uh, really hope this helps someone with the comparisons. Uh, 
if you're, if you're kind of stuck between Atari Legacy and Centipede Legacy, uh, I hope that helps. Thanks.